Hi, I'm Dr. Jason Tirado, your West New York chiropractor. And in today's neck pain alert, we're talking about how long-term results, uh, what they are for neck injuries. You know, a neck injury such as a pulled muscle or a knot inside the muscle is usually something that we've all experienced at some point in our lives. It's these little aches and pains that usually go away on their own or with like a little massage from a loved one. But you know, sometimes the neck injury is a lot more substantial. Right? such as in like a whiplash accident, car accident, or sports injury. It's these cases, the ligaments, such as maybe even the disc can be injured, and the nerves inside the neck can actually get inflamed, irritated, and squeezed, and pinched. You know, the long-term course of neck pain, unfortunately, isn't that good, right? A lot of patients continue to suffer years later. One study even looked at outcomes after about five years, and they found out that about 50% of the patients continued to have pain and disability, even with treatment. You know, when the ligaments and the muscles of the, of, the, of the neck, of the cervical spine are, are injured, the patient starts to guard their movements and not use certain muscles. They stiffen up. And that can actually lead to muscle weaknesses over time. And as those muscle, the muscles inside the neck start to go, well then so does the rest of the spine. Or at least that's what the research says. You know, following some type of traumatic insult or an injury to the neck, it's really important to have a proper examination and including an x-ray. And getting an accurate diagnosis from the right doctor is usually the first step to getting you the treatment that you need. As I, as I mentioned before, a lot of patients become chronic and they have long-term pain after, after neck injuries. And others will actually develop secondary lower back pain maybe even two years down the road. Because of these long-term effects, it's usually important to treat the neck injuries in a very, very serious manner. Ice just isn't going to do it. And it's these mechanical types of problems that are also not correctable through things like medication and cortisone injections and, and neck collars. Sometimes specific chiropractic care following sprains to the neck or injuries to the neck may actually move the joints inside the spine a lot better and ease the tension on the neck muscles and tissues. A lot of these mobility disorders, such as limited range, can also be improved with chiropractic adjustments. And as the joints begin to move much more normally, exercises can be added to improve strength and the range of motion. You know, by treating neck problems appropriately and early on, most of the patients can really, really get the best chance for long-term success. All right, so I really feel if you've been listening up until this point that it means maybe you might have a neck problem or maybe you know a loved one or a friend that has a neck problem. If you know someone, you know what, maybe it's time to give me a call. My name is Dr. Jason Tirado, your West New York chiropractor. Take care and I'll see you soon.